Uh, all right, so we'll start again. So for the hand treatment, all the supplies you're gonna need are in the bottom middle cabinet. So it's under the SD board and everything's all in there. The first, the parts you're gonna need are from this tub here. Inside are just the plastic baggies that go inside the Safari print hand baggies. So they are plastic, so you're gonna have to make sure they're all wrapped up so nothing melts, because we have had that happen before and nobody wants that because then you can't open them. Then the second one is the EcoFin cubes. So right on top of the, of the box, it tells you what's in it. If you ever have any questions, that sign in your room that has the add-ons on it, it's all there too. So mm -hmm. there is cheat sheet everywhere. So when you're explaining it to clients, you can tell them what's inside. So uh, for our, we are using peppermint scented. So they're, I don't know if this tells you, escape. It's what's called an escape, but it's peppermint. So each of the cubes, they kind of are easy to crack open from inside of here. If you can't get it, there is the, the cutting knife is in here, so be careful that you don't just stick your hand in there and stab yourself, please. Um, so for each treatment, it is one half of a cube per person, unless, the only exception to that is you, you have a, usually it's a gentleman, mm -hmm. granted there can be women with some really massive hands, mm -hmm. it'll be one <laughs> cube per, but when I'm, I mean like, I thought it was really a half a cube per hand. It yeah, is. so it is yeah, per that's hand. what, what oh, I meant. You said per person. person. I, per hand. Thank you. Per <laughs> hand. So, so for each um, person, you're going to have two of the Safari print mitts. They're nice and cozy. And so what you got to do is you're going to take the plastic bag out and try not to sh shove your hand inside when you're putting it in the Safari print for sanitary reasons. So you're just going to open it, shake it out a little bit, and stick it kind of unfolded inside the bag and then you're going to just dump you're going to cut the cubes in half and just kind of stick them in there you can kind of give it a shake to stick it in the bottom but if you don't that's okay it doesn't have to be in the bottom when you're setting up and then you just fold the plastic over the outside and you need two per person the last things you're going to need are then there's the microwavable mitts so they're in three colors we have white brown, green, just make sure they match. It doesn't matter which one you use, they're all the same. So there's rice packs inside. So you're gonna throw this in the microwave for about two minutes. You just need to get it to start being warm because you're gonna place them back in your cabinet. Do you do it side by side or on top of each other? Doesn't <coughs> matter, okay. they just get them warm. Um, if you do notice that they're starting to get dirty or anything, the rice packs come out. I'm not gonna do that right now, but they do come out so you can wash these if they are getting pretty gross because sometimes they get water on them, different things, so just remove the rice and toss them in into the towels part of the laundry. And the last thing you're gonna need is just two regular hot towels. You can go grab the stuff from the warmer, Julia. So the thing is is that um, you may not need them. What these are for is that if at the end their skin is either was moisturized already and didn't soak up everything. So it's kind of like if it has excess, mm -hmm. but you are gonna use the excess, because it's all oil, it's used to be able to massage into the arm. So if there's any extra, you can use the hot towels, to just kind of dab it off. You don't want to wipe because then you're taking everything off. Mm -hmm. You just want to make sure it's not, like they're not sticky and gross coming out. So that's all of that. So once you, so, the last thing is wrapping. So what you gotta do, so you're gonna, before you're gonna put these in the cab, you're gonna make them into a nice little roll. So you wanna really tuck all the plastic in and just kind of roll it into this little ball. So just make sure you don't see any plastic sticking out. And if you do, just kind of push it, push it inside. And that's, and you will have two of them. The easiest way to kind of hang onto them to get in your room. It's just kind of stick it under your arm because they'll unroll really easy because there's no, there's no, they're not really firm. And then you're gonna stick all the things in your cavity. So you're gonna stick your two hot packs, the two rolls, and your hot towels. Question. Yes. When you wrap them that way, so mm -hmm. then um, you won't have to worry about the, the plastic sticking Correct. together? Okay. Correct, because if, this one's coming out, if they're all wrapped all the way in, then the heat isn't the heat's gonna stay on the this and melt.
melt the cube, but not melt the plastic. So okay. do you put those in the cavity without putting them in the microwave? Correct. You don't, so it's because the cavity that's, that's going, going to melt, to them. melt them. Yes. It takes 20 minutes to melt them. We timed it. It takes 20 minutes. So that's why for, um, so for facials, you want to do it at least 20 minutes into yours. Um, huh. So probably, I'm trying to think. I you would guys say probably for facials, um, it, I would do it, guys, right. I would put it in right after extractions. Like you would or before you room. do your extractions. Step back out of the room and grab it. Well, no, what, so what, room. yeah, you can bring them, I would, uh, for us, I would bring everything in with setup, mm -hmm. have yeah. them sitting in one of the drawers, you know, mm -hmm. that we have now, Yeah. <laughs> put them in the drawers. When you get to the, um, ex uh, the extraction, the extraction part, put them in the caddy. Cause by the time you finish extractions, it's going to be about 15, you know, maybe about 15 minutes. By the time you get ready, after you spread on that second mass, it's going to be 20 minutes. And so well, you want to put them on their hands. So that's for, for facials. For facials. Right, this is but just is, for facials. is there a problem with keeping it in longer no, than No, not, not at all. So that's what I'm saying. Oh, so for facials, so for facials, uh, that's when they're going to throw them in. For yeah. us in massage land. This weekend. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll, I'll interject on that. Yeah. Had it happen to me. Yeah, I happened. put it in, beginning of my facial. Mm -hmm. And by the time I got ready to do it, it was too, too hot. hot. Well, I'm coming to that. Okay. Coming to that. So that's why it's, it's important for the estheticians to make sure that they Come, get it in coming there. Coming to that, there, yeah. is a, there is a solution for them being a little too hot. Okay. Because that happens, that does. Because for us in, with massage, uh, because we don't have the opportunity to really step out, nor do we have a place to put them aside and throw them in, you do have to just put them into your cavity at the beginning of your massage. So if any of you are starting face up, make sure it's, you don't, you gotta wait 20 minutes before you use them. Mm -hmm. But for those of us that start face down, throw them in and as soon as you flip them over, that's the very first thing you wanna do before you put your hot towels on your feet. If you do them at that point, whatever. It's the first thing you flip them over, you put the head pillow, you adjust them to do it. So, I'm like, all the things. So, this is my hand model again. It's okay. She's never okay. Okay. So, hands need it. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna unroll it. Make sure it's out. So ooh, this one got a little all over. So if it's too hot, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of stick your two fingers on the side, open it up, and you want to just shake it out, get some air inside, and you can always just ask like. You have them start putting your, their hand in. How's the temperature? If they go, ooh, it's too hot, take it off, keep putting air in it. Because the air is gonna cool it off. Because it's just oils, it switches back to its solid form quickly. That's why you have to have the heated packs because otherwise it's gonna go solid fast. So what you do, so then you're gonna, because they're laying down, you're gonna kinda need to give them the non-verbal cues because that's generally the hardest part is trying to get them to shove their hand in. So if they're face down this way, you're gonna kinda like, Touch it and get them to help you. Like you kind of stick it in there. How's the temperature? It's perfect. Oh, it's only been twenty minutes. Yeah, but this <laughs> is like perfect. So then, what you gotta do is for everybody, you gotta kind of move it around because mm -hmm. this one happens to be pretty well moved around, but sometimes it settles in the bottom. So you want to push it up into the hand, make sure it gets on the thumb, all the way up to the wrist. So you just kind of massage, light massage it in, just so that it's everywhere. So you do that and then, and so you have to do it one hand at a time. Then they're still laying there. You grab your heat pack. So here's the thing guys, you gotta make sure that the rice is kind of even. So you can stick your, this one doesn't worry about sanitary so much. Stick your hand in, get it all even. And then again, with the nonverbal cues, kind of shake and have them help you get it in there. It takes a, it takes a little bit of practice. I promise you the first time you may go, oh my gosh, that was horrible. Couldn't get it on. <laughs> I promise if you practice, you'll be fine. It just takes a little bit of that, how do I get them to non-verbally help them? And I mean, and you can go, please help me help shove the hand in. You can, but you know, if 
depends on your client, right? Some clients don't want to be disturbed, so you want to use the nonverbal cubes. If you're having a conversation with your person, you can just interrupt, hey, help me shove As your hands. We won't have a problem getting them yeah. to shove it. Because, you know, when you flip them, they're used to us saying, please place your hands outside the bed now for your hand and arm massage. So when you put this on. Clients. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Know, yeah. I, I feel nonverbal at that yeah. point. Yeah. So it's feet. easy yeah. if you're yeah. nonverbal, really easy to do. So then yeah. you sit and then you move on to the other hand. So just, yeah, just hold on. Real quick, I have a question. If, yes. if sometimes people forget to take off their jewelry, is it a big deal that you um, that? You, mm-hmm. yeah, so yeah. if for, depends on the ring and depends on the person. Some people are really like whatever and they don't care, but you can always go, oh look, your ring's on. Do you mind, you can always just say, do you mind if I take it off and put it in the jewelry dish or, you know, just kind of ask them or you can tell them at the beginning when they say, oh, I want to add it on. Um, okay, please remove your jewelry and put it into the dish, your jewelry dish. However, because again, some people do it already. Like there's yeah. clients that remove everything already, but some clients you just have to kind of ask them. I would so, just reiterate. It wouldn't necessarily hurt their jewelry. No, okay. because it's it's oil. It's so I mean, like the only thing is, is they're gonna wanna yeah. they're gonna wanna run it under hot water to clean because again, it will solidify. re-solidify. Yeah. So, but it's not gonna damage because all it is it's Jehovah coconut oil, shea butter. It's nothing damaging to jewelry. A little beeswax, probably. A little, uh, yeah, I believe there's some. Yeah. So yeah, and so then again, so the second hand, you just go ahead and mix it all in, mm-hmm. get it up from the top. So, and then you take the other one, get it even. And this is, I promise, it's easier when they're lying down, yeah. not in the air. Yeah, it, is, it, is. <laughs> it, okay. it falls. Better when you yeah, know. when they're laying flat. Yeah. So then the thing is, is so then they're gonna need to. So now you continue on with whatever you do, you're doing for this. So if you for like the estheticians, I think this is the point where you're massaging the no. neck. Oh, no, I have no so, idea where you're. So at. for estes, this would be you would put this on right before you do the second mask, so that you can be doing something. Cause so so stay. while you're so this is on their hands while they're you put it on first. And then you do go into your second mask. By the time you apply the mask, now this is saturated on their hands. And then when you get ready, that's when you do your set hand and arm massage. Mm-hmm. And you're pulling these off and massaging the rest of the yeah. stuff in. Start from your, sh- your the neck, shoulder, and finish with the arm. Yeah. Yeah. So you want arm. it to sit on the skin for, for how long? 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's so the 10 to 15 minutes to once apply they the apply mask. the mask. But it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't take, it doesn't take that long. No. It takes me like two what minutes. What if you applied it, what if you applied it? I think like, around the enzyme. Yeah, I was gonna say after the enzyme That's mask, what I think. and then you did your extractions and stuff with that, and then you clean it up because by the time that you get to your second mask, you're ready to massage the oil in. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. that's kind of what I was thinking. So or even if you do the Casimira mask, yep, that's enough yeah. time. Well, yeah, that's, that's enough time. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, so there's so there's some play with it. I would cut you know customize it according to what yeah. you gotta do. Yeah. But you know, ten to fifteen, gonna be a little bit ten to 15 yeah. minutes. So then for. CMTs generally, this is the point where then after you put this on, you're going to put your hot towels if you do it on that side. And so do something that takes 10 to 15 minutes. But the other thing is, is there's no harm if it's on there longer either. So like for me personally, I, I do my towel, hot towels on the face up. So I put these on, put my hot towels on, and then I do neck and legs and end with arms. So then it's had a lot of time. So for me, because it's in there for that long, I don't always need the hot towels because they'll have had more time to soak it in. So it just depends on you play with it. It's fine, there is no really wrong way to do it in your massage as long as it gets that 10 10 minutes to soak in. Yes. Okay. So I did it this weekend and Mm -hmm. my client was very, very, very dry in her Mm -hmm. hands. Mm -hmm. And so- It um, soaked it all up. Yeah, so by the time I took everything off, it was absorbed. So you would have needed the whole thing. So tube. I added so, on with my own. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Too. Massage cream. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. I wasn't sure. That yeah, that that, was, there's no. Yeah. Because it was like, I was like, bone. Those are, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, and so if you do, that's the other, I guess, the other time you would use a whole cube is if you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you've got somebody with ridiculously dry hands. But if you're going to finish, just use your massage yeah. training. Yeah. And that's yeah. so the difference. Well, I, yeah. I was winging it. I'm like, yeah. well, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you're good. That works perfect. Because yeah. for us, it only has enough to get you to about the elbow inside. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to 
use more massage cream to get you all the way up to the, re the whole top of the arm anyway. So they've sat 10 minutes, whatever. So which, so again, one at a time. So you're gonna pull, you're gonna wanna pull the heat pack off first and stick it into your bowl that's on there or onto a tape, onto the trash can, just not on, I mean, we're getting new carpets, so don't throw it onto the carpet. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're gonna kind of pull this off together. You can see that because it's not in heat, how it's already so starting to get hard again. solidifies. Mm -hmm. So you just wanna kind of pull it off and you wanna kind of pull it backwards so that you can kind of with your hands get anything that's left inside the baggie. And then again, this would go inside your can, your bag or whatever. And then I'm gonna hand my ring off to Joey, thank you. And then you're gonna use it to massage again. So you just kind of make sure it's moved everywhere and it can go all the way up. So your first few strokes, you're wanna kind of get it spread everywhere. And if it goes a little white like this, that's okay, because again, it's getting cooler. So it's just re-solidifying, but it's fine. Nothing's the heat from your hands, if it's shea butter, it'll, it'll, it'll read, it'll it'll read, read you. it. So you want to make sure, because it's a hand treatment, you want to make sure you take time to get into the cuticles, because that's mm -hmm. one of the things it's really good for. <laughs> get Thank it in you, there. <laughs> and then do And do your regular hand and arm massage. Take your time. Again, it's not going anywhere. It's fine. Your hands will keep it, keep it warm enough to keep going and then you How just does it feel great <laughs> it is it's a little oh. more slick because it's similar it feels to like oil. oil it doesn't feel like a wax it doesn't yeah it's not a wax but it's going to feel more slick than our lotions all of our lotions so just be ready for that and so then you're going to do your whole Ooh, arm like massage <laughs> and then you know as you're doing it you'll use your lotion to get up here on the top of the arm so obviously, because we haven't had the whole time for demonstration purposes, mm -hmm. she's got some here. You see she's kind of shiny and you can really feel it on her. So that's when you're gonna take your hot towel, which is probably not hot anymore. Nope, oh well. So the best, because it's hot, it's nice. You can start, start it up here and bring it nicely down because you can just make it nice. But you wanna not, you don't wanna grab and pull because you don't want to remove so it all the way. You want to blend yes. uh, Why when we massage here, the wax, mm -hmm. the, we cannot go here? It's just there's not enough to get it all the way up here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. so yeah. it's just that there, I mean, if for some reason there is enough, feel free, bring it up as wow. far as you can, mm -hmm. but generally speaking, it's gonna hit the elbow and you're gonna kind of run out. So, but you want to just dab to remove any excess. It's just dab because you want some left. Is there another question? Oh, no, no. That's perfect. Yeah. And then, so then, yeah, so you can see now her arm's not really as shiny. You can still feel it. Like, it feels like there was lotion on you there. You can feel it. And then, oh, okay.